Hi, I'm Jesse Young. We're here in beautiful Kenmore, Washington at Micro Homebrew, the local homebrew shop here. And we're gonna take you through the shop to show you how to pick out your ingredients for your own homebrew recipe. So let's go on in, we'll check things out and get you going. So here in the green room, we have our base malts and our specialty grains. And as a homebrewer, you're gonna already have a recipe kind of in mind. But the best thing to do, what I always recommend, is just go ahead and actually just go ahead and taste the malt itself. See what you like and formulate your recipe from there. So when formulating your recipe, you want to look at the hops. Hops play a major part in every beer, even if it's a little bit or a lot of hops going into that recipe. The information they actually want to look for is the alpha acids, because that's going to totally dictate how many IBUs will be getting into your brew, as well as aromatics and flavor profiles of those hops right there on the package. A great resource is actually hop selection charts that we have over here on the wall, and another great resource is actually the hop variety book. In addition to pellet and leaf hops, you can also get hop extract. This is a great way to get a lot of bittering without a lot of vegetal material in your brew. So yeast selection is key to the brewing the correct style of beer that you're looking to brew. Uh, you wouldn't necessarily want to use a Saison yeast to brew an American IPA, uh, but you can choose all the specific styles of yeast that will make your beer the best to its style and the best beer in your glass. Those are some things to think about when choosing ingredients for your homebrew recipe. Cheers and happy brewing.